so glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I am glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. You know, as I open today's rhapsody, this is what came to my spirit. I'm so excited. I belong here in his kingdom, the kingdom of God. I belong to Jesus. Good morning, beloved of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Everywhere you are hearing me from, from all over the world. My name is Bolan Yolikoide, your host, your regular host. And I'm so, I'm so sure you're excited as I'm excited to see you or to be coming your way today. Hallelujah. Today is another beautiful and a great, prolific day. Hallelujah. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday the 18th of April. And I'm bringing good news to you from Rhapsody of Realities, a daily devotional written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. This daily devotional has been in existence for the past 21 years and has been translated into all known languages of the world. 7,858 languages. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, Pastor is sharing with us beautiful things in the word of God is indeed good news. It's, the topic is, you have all you need. <laughs> Can you see why I sang that song? All. When you say all, what is all? All means everything with the exception of nothing. Spirit of God says you have. You have all you need. First, I mean, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, in the Amplified Classic. You know, when we say Amplified Classic, is that it's not saying what is not fair. It's just increasing the volume. Just like I'm using my microphone, just because you can hear me well. So 2 Corinthians 5, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace, every favor, an earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation did i just describe somebody is me <laughs> that's who i am that's my life what we just read is simply mind-blowing sir absolutely it unveils god's will for you the life that is giving you it doesn't require aid or support. Ha, ha, I feel like jumping up now. Oh, glory be to God. Meaning that it doesn't matter what you face. The solution is inside of you. Glory, hallelujah. Being born again, you've already been given everything you'd ever need. Everything. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says, According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Not some things. All things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. It's knowledge. It's just for me to know it that I have all things. You know, Colossians chapter 1 verse 27 says, Christ in you, ha, this article I tell you is, is loaded. Christ in you, the hope of glory. It doesn't get better than, than that. Christ in you is everything. Jesus said in John 14, 16, and I will pray the Father, 
and it shall give you another comfort, another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Not for some time, forever. The Holy Spirit is in you now. With the Holy Spirit in you, you have everything you could ever want in life. You can be anything and can do anything. You are limitless. I'm telling you. With the life of God, you are limitless. Because the Holy Ghost, you know, in Romans chapter 8, it tells us how the Holy Spirit himself intercede for us. He search our spirit and with groanings, he prays for us. So what can you need? You, what Holy Spirit is even praying on your behalf, you don't even know it. You don't know it. So you, you have everything. You have everything. No level of greatness or height of success is too lofty for you to attain. This is the good news for you today. Say it to yourself. Say it and mean it. No level of greatness or height of success is too lofty for me to attain. You have inf oh kapasa katabasha. You know, these are the kind of words you will oh you will put your book rhapsody on your head and you say, Oh dear, you have infinite possibilities limitless and unparalleled advantages in life. Ha! Nothing stands against you successfully. Glory, hallelujah. It's part of the result of the God life, the God nature in you. God didn't create you to be in want of anything. God doesn't want you to keep coming to him or is happy the way you are, your life is. Say, you know, I'm choosing that my life. No, 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 no. He created you to be self-sufficient. Hallelujah. Everything is inside you. Eternity is in your heart. Eternity is in my heart. That is why he said, a good man, out of the good treasure of the earth, bringeth forth good things. Do you hear that? That's Matthew 12, 35. Do you hear that? So, what is on the inside of you? What is on the inside? How do you bring it out? From the word. I mean, by your word. You speak it. What are the good things you desire? What do you want? What do you want to see? Bring them forth from within you with your faith-filled words. John chapter 7 verse 38 says, Out of your belly, ha, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Hallelujah. Rivers of living water. Words of life and power. So, go ahead and saturate your atmosphere with your faith-filled words. And whatever you desire will come to you in platter of gold. I'm telling you, this is our testimony. This is the record. This is the record. Glory be to God. You know, keep it, keep on getting in the word of God. Keep on eating it. And, you know, you don't just uh, read this kind of scripture you know, and you nod. No, you say it. It's Rema to you. You say it. I am self-sufficient. Glory be to God. Yes, God has the ability to make all grace about towards me. Therefore, all grace has been made, you know, abundance towards me. Yes, every favor comes to me. You keep talking about it. That's how you do it. Are you hearing me? Oh, glory be to God. Let's take the prayer together. Say, dear Father, I thank you for my triumphant life in Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who lives in me and in whom and through whom I can do all things. 
and fulfill my destiny to your glory. Thank you for granting me all that I require for life and godliness. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Don't keep this message to yourself. Say it to one or two people. Tell them, give them this channel, this platform you are watching it from. Say, come and hear these precious words. This word has changed my life. And I want to hear it from you. Your comments, your testimonies, because I need testimonies about it. I want to hear your testimonies, hallelujah. And I'm inviting you for this beautiful program that is coming up with Pastor Chris. It's an online program. It's called Reach Out World Life Extravaganza. You know, extravaganza means limitless. You know, that we want to showcase in that program, we are showcasing the impact of what we have done in the lives of people. I want to share yours too. That's why I want you to be part of it and to send me testimonies. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The, the, the link is scrolling right now. So go ahead and register. Register five people, ten people, as men that you can register. Tell them they should come and watch and participate in this beautiful program. And if you want to be a workforce or you want to give for Rhapsody, it's a dollar per copy. Go ahead and send me a message. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a fulfilled, super abundant, ever sufficient day. In Jesus' name, amen.